welcome back to the indefatigable um, as we actually stated in the last video um, i'd like today to demonstrate um, um, a knot uh, formula that we'd like to pass on to you to help you make a key ring um, which can be made much easier using this formula right what i'd like to demonstrate to you now is a new Turk's head. We've not done this before. We've done a, quite a simple one before. This one is a four byte five lead. And like I say, if you remember, the bites are the bends. So there's one, two, three, four. And the leads are the line that goes across. So it's four bites and there's going to be five leads go across. Now, just by chance, one of the difficult formulas when you're actually doing key rings or knot work is having the, the, the type of knot to the size of the sphere that you're covering. Uh, if you look at these two here, I, I'm just not happy with them at all. If you notice, I've got big spaces in here and you tend to think, well, we can just run another piece of line through this. It doesn't work like that. It, you end up that it will actually tighten up here and you'll have a gap will still be on the top and it's very difficult to find that formula here's another one i'm just not happy with that but it's very very difficult i suppose a mathematician could work it out now just by chance oh for instance there's one that does work out i'd be happy with that as you can see it actually it actually f the the bites actually fill the sphere so they're even all round Right now, just by chance, I found, and th I think they're the right size as well. I found a way of making these key rings, tremendous little key rings, uh, and pe uh, people really are. Uh, I mean, they want, if, if you ask them to pick a key ring, they always seem to go f for these, and I've actually. Uh, like I say, by chance I've found the formula. Well, first of all, it's the knot that you've got to find. Well, we found the knot, five lead, four bite. Now, how about the sphere that goes into it? Well, I looked everywhere. I've tried all sorts of things. And eventually I did find the size. And this is, that's the size there, 20 millimetres. Those I bought in one of these pound shops that sells, um, it was actually a water pistol but it also fired these things. And I think it was a 99 pence or a pound shot. So um, what I did, I went and bought them and um, everybody in our, the children in our streets and roundabout, they've all got a water pistol now because I've taken all these out and I've used them for, for key rings. So that's 20 millimeter, but you could use a marble or maybe some polystyrene balls that's the thing to look for, that size. The size of the line is three millimeter. And like I say, I mentioned before about Abacan, you can buy this by the meter. Having said that, you probably need about three meters for one of these, three meters of line. Right, so what I'd like to demonstrate today is, um, just before I carry on, I did this pipe as well. This is normal, I guess they use it in bathrooms and what have you, it was just in the normal, do-it-yourself shop and it's 21.5 millimeter just slightly bigger than the ball and the beauty of that is that you can you know you can make three four five have this bar this long when somebody asks you uh, for a key ring um, you can you can just slide it off and it just goes on as so and then just form it round and as we've done in the past you can just then just take your time and tighten it up, just generally. Uh, when, you, when you actually are tightening or pick any one, because if you've got the wrong one, you'll pick up another one. Don't pull them out any more than about that. Just tr try and do it. If it goes tight on you, the knot, it, you'll, you'll end up uh, where the knot won't form nicely. And carry on until you've got it tight. Now. If there's a slight gap, what I, I did, I used a bit of this 
Uh, again, I think this came from Abacan, and it just seemed to finish the knots off by, you can just about get um, a thinner piece just on the, on the edges of it like that. It produces a fantastic knot, and the whole thing um, fits very nicely over the sphere it's covered on that. So, so that's how to, to form the knot and the, the sizes. So we've got three millimetre line and we've got a 20 millimetre sphere. I mean, if it's a little bit more than that or less, you, you, I mean, you can manipulate it. But to find that uh, we actually know that we can hit this every time. Right. Okay, let's see if we can demonstrate the knot. Okay. Straightforward as starting with the normal Turk's head that we did in the last video. We do exactly the same way, round, under, except we change now where we did a bit of crossing over. Um, on this one we don't cross over and we are, we're working to the left so we're going to go over there. So we go across here we come round and we're actually going to, which is unusual in knotting, is to bring one up the same alongside it, except when the, the knot's finished. But when you're forming it, it is unusual to come up alongside it. So we're going to come up alongside that like that. And remember, later on, we'll pick this one up. But let's just go over again. So we now go over that under and over there this one I always say overboard the reason for that is if once the knot gets a little bit bigger and you start it wrong here this one will go under if it's over under over by always knowing that it's got to go over here it, it's, it saves a mistake later on. So it's always overboard, if you like, here. So we go overboard. And if you remember that where the two have been together, we just part them a bit, and there's the piece we need to get. That's the bit that we've got to get now to go under. So we've parted these two now, and we're going to go under there. Right, now, we're coming across here now, and if you remember, this is where we have to go overboard on, the, on this, this one here. So it's basically going under, over, under, and over. Under, over, under, and over. If you, if you try it another way and go over that one, then it'll want to come under this one. So it's always a good thing to try and remember that this, this one is the overboard one here. So that's right, it's gone under there. It goes over that one. Over that one. Under there. <clears throat> and then we turn the knot round and bring it alongside its lead again here and that's the knot formed. That's the first part of that knot now that is actually formed. It's just a matter now of going over and under. So what I would do now is a well, short piece here, just start the knot off and that's run out and you can see this piece now is, is alongside here. The two things are running together now. It's simple again now is to just follow it round. Let's see. Follow it round. There we go. It is a difficult knot, there's no doubt about it, but with practice, you can pick it up. 
And imagine doing it from the book. There we go. I'll just see if I've just about got enough line to do two two leads. Simple follow round. There we go. Notice it goes very quiet. <laughs> Funny, when you're actually nothing like this, you can feel that at some stages, you can feel that this is it's going right. Um, you can uh, feel the knot forming now in your hand. Um, You can just straighten all these little bits up after. Just following it through, I just about make it with this line. I'll do it again for you, but I won't follow it right through next time because you can see uh, you know, you're going, so we've gone through to there and then it's just going to loop in through its third run now and it's, um, it'll just um, form itself, but, the, but that's, that's the knot. Now you can, uh, actually this piece, I, um, I mean that just came out of, uh, I think it was sort of, I don't know, tin foil or something that was on there. Sometimes if you know how big the sphere is, it's nice really to to just pluck away at it now and tighten it up on here and that that's basically what you would do when you do it with smaller line on on a piece about 21 21 mil and it's on it so um that's the knot okay there we go again let's see if we can just do this once more for you Working from left, no, sorry, working from right to left. I might try and do it smaller so I've got enough line to. All right, so we've gone round, across, under. right to left, over, and we're going to go alongside this one, very unusual, you, normally when you're knotting you would go over there and under there, well on this particular one you actually go under here. Now the fact that we've gone under there, later on we're going to pick this one up and that'll lock it, the knot. You remember overboard on this one so that means it goes under that that over there it goes under that and overboard on that and we come back here right now there's the one they were going to pick up where these two pieces here the two pieces are going over one, so you can root it out. That piece and that piece are going over that. 
both in parallel. So what we've got to do, we've got to break that up by picking it up there. Right, and now we're going to go across again at the back here. And remember that with on this one, it's got to go over. So let's think about that. So that's gone over. So, so it's under, over, under, over, under, and over. Over, under, over, under. Wrong. So we're going to go under, over, under, and over. So we start here, we go under, over, under, overboard. And that brings you straight back into that line there. Now, that's the knot again. Like I say, you can then just tighten it. That's the skeleton of the knot. We've actually formed it. Now, it takes a bit of practice this because you really get into the there's only one knot I think a bit bigger than this that many people can do um, five le uh, six lead uh, five bite it starts to get too big in uh, uh, for your hand really so it is a, it is a hard knot and you're up at the top of the range if you like as, well, as far as knotting goes but this is the knot when done with thinner line that fits that sphere there and produces these here. Now, just to help you on this a little bit, uh, just before we started this here now, I had three attempts to do that and I couldn't do it. I could just, just wouldn't go right, undone it again, thought about it, did it again, three times before eventually it dawned on me to remember uh, to use little things like I call it overboard. When you're doing a knot, if you can, you know, you call it what you like and write it down in your little book. But just the fact that I call this last one, which I always say the last one is overboard, overboard. It, it's saved the day, you know, other than that, I might have sat here all day and never got the knot right. It was just the fact that I um, sort of made a little note really overboard. As soon as I remembered that, fine. If I'd have looked in my little book here, I'd have probably written in my own language, you know, overboard, and that would have done it. So hopefully, uh, if you'd like to practice on that a bit, and maybe you could produce some of these. Um, there's the knot uh, just formed over. And I think this is a brilliant idea. I mean, I will make a longer one of these because people do ask for these so difficult to start well sometimes i'm sitting there in the evening and i can just sit away and I can, and yeah, the fact is i can make one two i can have them this long and if you can find any of those spheres the other thing i was going to look for was marbles i mean they would make the knot a little bit heavier um, but a marble about that size so you're looking if you remember i'll just give you those figures again now it's 20 mil 20 mil um, and three mil is on the line and the, the actual knot is the five lead four by Turk's head and those things all come together it's so nice It'd be brilliant you know I mean I sit down and just uh, like I say uh, stimulate your brain on that for a bit okay well that's it thank you very much and uh, hope to see you soon bye now <laughs>